Hi everyone, welcome to Community Reads, organized by Anne Webbing from Kinder Books. Thank you so much, Anne, for inviting me and allowing me to be part of this great event. You're amazing. Um, my name is Ida, and um, I work at a preschool in Puerto Coquitlam called Kitty's Corner Preschool, KKP. And um, today I have a story for you. I actually ordered this book through Anne. Thank you so much. It's a lovely story, Anne. It's called Totem Tale. A Tall Story from Alaska, written by Deb Vaness and illustrated by Eric Brooks. Deep in a cedar forest stood a totem pole, stark and still. Can you be stark and still? Long ago, a carver stuck the totem animals and then forgot about them. Look at the animals all stacked up. See, they were all forgotten up in the pole. Let's see what happens next. Oh, look how different the animals look. Now they're turning into different colors. One night, the moon rose low and full, washed in the light of moonbeams. The totems sprang to life. Wow, look at all the animals coming out to life. Frog leaped and twirled, kicking the stiffness from long legs, tucked up tight for countless years. Oh no, look at Frog. Finally, he got to stretch his legs. And look at his friends, Frogs, over there. Beaver waddled to the stream, delighting in the loud slap of his tails against the water. Oh, I see Beaver having a great time slapping his tail against the current of the river. And look at all those two beavers. <laughs> Eagle swooped and dove with outstretched wings, silvery salmon darting beneath a looming shadow. Oh, I can see eagle. I think he's trying to fish. Some fish. Can you see the salmon swimming in the river? Grizzly wriggled his back against a tall tree, growling arr, with the relief of a long itch finally scratched. Look at there. Finally, he got to scratch his back. Wolf lifted her voice toward the moon, howling. Can you howl like a wolf? Ow! With the pure joy of silence broken, Raven strutted, cocking his head and, chatter and chattering to himself. There is Wolf and there is Raven. But all too soon, a hint of dawn brushed the blackened sky. The totems must return to the pole, or the rising sun will trap them in the land of in-between and never there. Oh dear, look at the faces of the animals. I think they're in a rush. They are asked to go back to the totem pole. Uh-oh. But, but none of them could remember how they fit and each wanted the place of honor at the top of the pole. Oh dear, so they couldn't remember the order they were stacked up at the beginning. I wonder what's gonna happen. Oh, trouble is in the way. I am the largest and the loudest, Grizzly roared. He shimmed to the top, but the pole swayed back and forth beneath his weight. Let's see where he is there. Oh, he wanted to be at the top. And the totems toppled to the ground and they all went tumbling down. I think, Mr. Bear, you're way too heavy to be right at the top. Oh, sorry, Mr. Bear. This is not gonna be you today. Let's see, oh no. What's next? I'm a fearless hunter, said Wolf. There's Wolf howling to the moon. Let's put Wolf over here. 
I'm a fearless hunter, said Wolf. With a quick scamper, she took her place on top. What do you think it's going to happen? Do you think he gets to do the place on top? But her sharp claws dug into the thin skin of Eagle's neck. And down they went, one after the other. And once again, and they all went tumbling down. Oh, dear. So, Mr. Wolf... It doesn't work for you. So no bear, no wolf. Let's see who gets the place of honor. I have the sharpest eyes. Do you know? Can you guess who's got sharp eyes? That's right, Eagle. Bragged Eagle, stretching her great wide wings to claim the highest spot. But her tail feathers tickled Wolf's nose and a loud kerchoo sent them tumbling again and they all went tumbling down. Look at the animals. Oh no, we're going to the bottom again. All right, so Eagle, nope. I felt the tallest trees, said Beaver, lumbering up the pole. Okay, so let's try, Mr. Beaver. But he wasn't used to sitting up so high. After a teetering moment, he rolled off, taking the others with him. And once again, and they all went tumbling down. Look at all the animals tumbling down to the floor. <laughs> okay, Beaver. Sorry. Who sings the sweetest song of night? Ask Frog. I don't see what singing has to do with it, grumbled Wolf, but she crouched to let the others climb up. So let's try Frog. And let's see what happens. Do you think Frog is going to get the place of honor at the top? Let's find out. With a skip and a hop, Frog leaped to the very top, where she danced an excited jig that made the pole quiver and shake till they all fell down and they all went tumbling down again so frog so we have bear we have wolf we have eagle beaver frog I wonder who's missing. Hmm, let's see who gets the place of honor. Can you guess what that animal is? Let's see, it's a raven. There's something you've forgotten, squeaked raven, shaking his head. Oh no. Together we told a story, a story of how frog muddied the water to hide beaver from danger. Oh, that's nice. So Frog was helping beaver hide from danger. And how beaver dammed the stream so eagle could fish from a quiet pool. Oh, look at, look at beaver, right? He's clearing the waters so the eagle flying above can see and fish for salmon. That's such a great teamwork. And how eagle led Grizzly to a wide patch of berries and how Grizzly shared his den with Wolf one cold winter night. Oh, that's so nice that Grizzly Bear and, um, and the Wolf got to share their den. Look at that. See, there's Frog and there's Beaver and there's the Eagle and there's Grizzly Bear and Wolf sharing the den together. Well, great community and great teamwork. Well done, animals. The totems looked at each other, nodding and remembering. Oh, yeah. They took their story places. So now, let's see. Frog first, then beaver, then eagle. Here we go. Then eagle, then grizzly. Okay, grizzly bear, you're next. And then wolf. There we go.
we go. It was a perfect fit. You see all the animals? It was great. The raven flapped and fluttered to the top as the first sunbeams shimmered over the horizon, casting the broad light of day on a story that will last forever. So here comes Raven, fluttering his wings, and he is the one who got the place of honor. And that's how the story goes. The end. Thank you very much for reading with me, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.